Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Sorcery. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today as we go into Torrepani, apparently a village made of orcs, or of orc people, of men orcs actually, so half orcs I would guess. Uh, the last village before Kare, which is our objective in the per first part of Sorcery. But I think this is going to hold quite a few adventures. I see that hole right there. I'm not really sure what that means. This the water, the crystal waterfall that we haven't been to. I think we might have gotten there if we had come through here or something. I don't know. This has been an adventure, quite an adventure, and we really didn't do it properly. But we are here. We didn't die a single time, even though I think we might have. I think things could have gone really badly last episode. If you didn't watch last episode, I highly recommend you do, because things didn't go well over there. Things went pretty well over here, and then as well as I could expect over there. So anyway, no spoilers, no too much spoilers for those of you that are just joining me. But for right now, let's go into Torrepani and see what happens. I got six golds. That should be enough to buy, buy me a few rations, I hope. You enter the village. There is a definite air of depression hanging over the place. The Svins are going about their business slowly and miserably and pay you no heed. You sit your... In, you, is that how I pronounce it? Heed, I guess, would be how you pronounce that. You sit yourself down on a tree stump in the very center of the village to consider your options. So... Let's find an inn and rest. There are three inns in the village, but two are closed down. Their windows boarded and their thatched roofs uh, rotting through. The third looks a little better, but at least it is, its door is, is open and the smell of well-corked food drifts out. From a sign by the doorway, it seems that food costs three gold pieces and a bed for the night costs five. Uh, that's actually pretty bad. I can get the food, but not the... Save the gold instead. The price isn't worth the value. You turn away, int intending to sleep for free under the stars instead. You walk out from the border of Torrepani and settle down under the trees. It is a quiet spot, and you are tired. Time to rest. You put your head down and try to sleep. Perhaps you manage a minute, or perhaps an hour, uh, but suddenly you wake, certain that something is moving in the bushes ahead. Let's arm myself here. It's no, there's no, no, no downside to harming ourselves, I don't think. You sit up and unsheathe your sword. But there isn't a moment. Out of the bushes, you, uh, on either side, five figures leap forward, each grabbing a different part of your body. Your ankles are held, your arms do. The sword is wrenched from your grip. We've got him, cries a Svin voice. Then they are hauling your body out of the thicket and along the path back to the village. Han Klang clings onto your shoulder, refusing to be shaken free. Where are you taking me? The Svin scaring you give no reply. Then you reach a low hut on the edge of the village. You are set down carefully. Maybe that's because we couldn't... We're, we've been captured! Holy crap, maybe it's, it's because I didn't talk to the orcs? Whatever. The door is slammed and locked. A moment later, it reopens. We still haven't lost our gold, which is nice. Um, and your possessions are thrown inside. Okay. 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 Let's, should I try to sleep? There's, am I gonna be killed? Uh, I don't know. Can I see what happened before? I think, I think, can I see what happened? No, I can't. Okay. Um, can I pray? I can't. Holy crap. Um, I'm, I'm gonna risk it. We haven't been killed. I'm gonna risk it. Let's try to sleep here, uh, cause I wanna recover my health. I don't know if I'm gonna do that, but let's see what, I, damn it! A few more minutes pass with no more movement, figuring they will probably now wait until daylight. You put your head down to sleep. The aching in your empty belly gnaws at you with glee. Your dreams are filled with grasping hands and long, dark nails scratching at your flesh, and however much you toss and turn on the floor, you cannot quite get them out of your mind. Maybe that was the... Maybe that was... I don't know. We lost, we lost three health right there. So we got daybreak. Let's go. Daybreak. You are still alone. An hour passes before you hear any noise outside, and then the door on the hut opens and five sphins come in. They drag you roughly out and across the street to another hut, where an old man with gray hair sits. He is wearing outlandish, colorful robes. My name is Prosius, chief. No, my name, Prosius, chief. Oh, he says. Okay, so he's the chief and his name is Prosius. Okay. He slaps his chest twice. I apologize. Then he bows, br brushing the dust off on the floor with his sleeves. Um... Apology accepted, I guess? The chief nods. He waves to a menial uh, who brings in bread and, mi and milk. Hell yeah. There we go. Gratefully, you bolt down the meal. It does not seem to be poisoned, no and it nourishes you. The bowl is uh, removed, and the shift 
squ squats down in a pool of cloth. Han cowers under your own cloak, hoping to get unnoticed. I have need of you and your strength. Tell me. The chief nods. I shall. My daughter, my child, she is taken. Offered to a terrible demon below. <laughs> she deserves it. Why would I say that? I don't want to say that. Um... You want to rescue? You want me to rescue her? The chief nods. Succeed, and you may say you may choose your reward. Fail, and he shrugs. Yeah, I guess I don't have a chance here. I don't have a choice. I mean, I'm at his mercy. I'll do it. The chief nods. I hope you will. He gestures to the other Svins, who still taking no change chances, grab you by your arms and haul you to your feet. Hmm, they're really that afraid of me. Oh, come on! Why? <laughs> I thought we were going to be done here and then be be given a chance. I don't have a torch. I need a torch for this. At least I have some health. Uh, but I can't pray. I'm not, I could be a 20 now. Damn those guys. You are led along a short pathway through the forest to a crack in the, in the ground. One Svin has brought a rope and another a basket. They are preparing to lower you down into the pit of the earth itself. Take the adventure? Oh, try and escape. Okay, let's take the adventure. Yeah, let's not try to escape. You wait until you, they are ready, then step into the basket. The chief nods to you with respect. Watch the darkness, he declares as they start to lower you down. From your shoulder, Han murmurs, We're in trouble now, he shivers. You don't realize you... you oh, he's saying, you don't realize you can't use magic with me around, and I'm not going anywhere. Why don't you... Why? Why can't... What? Why don't you go anywhere, though? What? Why? Oh, that... Hmm. Yeah, I kind of figured this. I kind of figured this. Um, that why the witch really didn't use any magic. The sorceress, anyway. Uh, I say witch, but yeah, was kind of th what they are. Uh, and I kind of figured that it might have been this guy uh, that changed something or something. Um, but yeah, so that confirms it. And I'm not going anywhere, he says. You hit the floor with a thud and peer into the darkness. Your eyes can make out nothing, but a slight breeze suggests endless space in all directions. You are blind, helpless, trapped. Something clatters to your feet from above. One of the Svins shouts something down to you. Let's um, feel around on the ground, I guess. You crouch down and feel around your feet until your hand closes on the base of something. You pick it up. It's a dry wood torch. Okay, that's good. Something else falls from above and strikes on your head. Tinderbox calls the voice. Oh, that's that's good. Uh, curse whoever hit you. Let's feel around for that tinderbox instead. Rubbing the bruise on your head, you reach down and tinker the tin and find a tinderbox. Uh, and now I can curse him. You hurl a curse upwards. The Sphins, despite their concern over the missing tribe member, laugh. The sound the sound echoes like water between the walls. Oh, that's not good. Why did I do that? Why did I do needless stuff? Slide the torch. Well, because I was hoping that it would give me good stuff. You strike a light and the torch blazes into flame. Below. You can see now. Oh, boy. I heard, like, the soundtrack. Like, pink. You heard? You hear that? It's right there. You can see now you are in a large cavern, wide and deep. At the far end, passageways disappear to the left and right. Through an uneven rockfall at the far end of the cavern, you hear a murmur. Okay, let's listen by the rocks. See what ha that is. Maybe it's water or something. You clamber over the rocks at the edge of the cavern to investigate the sound. Is it a, whis a whimpering coming from the other side of the pile of stones? The Svin girl, perhaps. She came in this way, but then the cave in blocked off her path. You have uh, to find another way to reach her. Okay, so I go either left or, go or I go right. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. I usually go left first. It's just an habit I have. It's just how I usually do, and that, I don't know, it's confirmation bias, but usually that's the best place to go in most of the games that I've been to. I'm not thinking of any levels right now in particular, but I'm going, I'm gonna go left and hope that that's good. You go left and creep slowly into the darkness, ears straining for the sound of approaching threat, but all you can hear is Han quiet's, uh, Han's quiet whimpering. Why is he whimpering? Shut up, man. The passageway slopes down a short way, then ends in a T-junction. Two stones are stacked on top of one another against the wall there. Okay, so do I need to write down a map or something for this? I wish I, I do. I wish I do, but... Uh, actually, I have a notepad here, and I'm gonna use it to my advantage, so let's do that. So, I'm thinking, we got an entrance to a mine, so we got, like, a corridor, and then we have, like, a T-junction. Effectively, we did that. Uh, and then I'm gonna get two stones over here. 
which basically looks like two eyes in a face. That's what I wrote down. So let's see. I can turn back, go left, or go right. So this leads me somewhere. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna turn back, actually. Oh, I could examine the stones! Damn it. You turn back. The square of sunlight lights up on the middle of this cave. I can climb out of the hole? Oh, I wanna go back? Come on, let me go back. Can I go back? No, I can't go back. Climb out of the hole. What what hole? Let's go straight on. I guess this is the other way. You push on further on into the darkness. The passage rises up a gentle incline. At the top, a thick crystal seam glitters in the torchlight, and the tunnel splits. So another one. So this one is the crystal one. Let's write it over there, and let's make a drawing of a crystal. Now I've spent long times drawing maps with crystals for StarCraft many, many years ago, back, and uh, yes. So that's not going to be a problem. It's written there. But I'm going to turn back because I want to inspect the rocks there. Let's look at the crystal and see what happens. The seam seems to be made of pure diamond. It is. It was no doubt in quest uh, of this uh, that these tunnels were carved. But why is no one mining here now? Yeah, this doesn't sound right. I'm not going to dig out the crystal. You're crazy. Actually, maybe I should. No, maybe I shouldn't. The game is telling me here not to mine it out. But I, I won't know. I will not find out. Let's turn back. Let's go back to the two rocks and see if we can if we can uh, figure it out. So let's examine the stones. There's nothing special about these stones except that they happen to be on top of one another. So what does that mean? One top of one rock on top of the other. It's like a it's a mark. It's somebody came through here. Does it mean that it's the same choice again? Does it mean that I should turn left? I'm going to turn left here, guys. Hopefully this is the way, but it, I have no idea. Let's go. We take the left passage. The tunnel twists and bends sharply, as if carved by a river now long, si uh, long since dried away. You lose all sense of which way is which, except to keep going forward where the path you are creeping through forks again. Another pair of stones are stacked in your corner. Now, I think this is going to go back the way we were going. Actually, this is just going to turn around. So, hmm. Another pair of stones are stacked in one corner. Let's... So, I would guess another left? Uh, I have no idea. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, another pair of stones. Let's let's put it over there. And um, I'm writing down, by the way. You guys don't see that, but... Okay, so I'm going to go left. I'm going to keep going left. The They are stacked. Okay, you slip through the opening in the left wall. The going is suddenly more difficult. And you, oh, this is a good sign. And you realize that the tunnel is climbing at quite a sharp gradient. Little stones rattle and roll away downwards into the dark. At the highest point, the winding seam reaches a split. As you enter, two stones roll away down the slope. Little stones rattle and roll. Okay, but that's there was another two stones right there. I think we're on the right path. But the problem is I don't know if they were stacked or if they were right by each other. So I'm going to say that I should go right next. Um, and that's the meaning of the two stones stacked. And this one... But the game could be... I don't know. I have no idea. I, it's just, I'm just lost in here. I, I'm, right, I'm, I'm, I'm doing the map here. It should be fine. Let's go right. You take... You turn right. The cave floor here is an inch deep in water. Dripping from an arched ceiling far above, the droplets that land on you are ice cold and run like sharpened claws down your back. I don't like this, Han mutters. Water plays ha havoc with my wings. A few strides further on, a side passage opens on the right. A single stone sits by the wall. A single one? What do you mean, a single one? Okay, so he doesn't like this, but it's because of the water. But something else... Warned me, the sharpened claws down my back is really not okay. This is a single stone, and I can go straight on or turn right. Yeah, I was. I think I was right. If this is indeed, a, if there is indeed a map for this, we basically turned around on that winding path that we got uh, the sec second junction. Uh, let's see. So a few strides further on, a side passage opens on the right. A single stone sits by the wall. What does that mean? What does that mean? Going back is probably gonna get, gonna get us killed. I'm gonna... A single stone. But why two stone? Is it left two stones and right one stone? I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna turn right. You take the right hand, uh, the right hand tunnel. The past twists and bends and jackknives. And then a passageway appears on your left. 
two more stones are stacked against the wall. These rocks don't look like they they fell like that. Yeah, okay, so this is a left. This is a right turn. Uh, this is a turn left here. Go left for sure. And I think, I think, it. it I'm going to wager that it's going... Uh, that it turn basically that jackknives and all that that's a left left turn right there even though we kind of don't know where but I think so so this one is gonna so there's a straight on path and then we have a left turn that's gonna lead us somewhere and I believe that's gonna be uh, the somewhere we were gonna go in our previous uh, location had we gone f uh, forward rather than right so let's go left here. You go left, the tunnel drops down. You've been here before, yes. Then a crack splits the wall on the right. A pair of stones sits on top of each other by one wall. Huh. So I've been here before. How have I been here before? Oh. Oh, I know where I am. How can... So the... Yeah, I know where I am. I think I know where I am. Uh, so this is the first two, yeah, the crack splits the wall on the right, so I can go straight on, which goes back to where we came, or go right. Actually, it can't be, I, oh, there's another one. No, that can't be. I have no, how, how have I been here before? Tunnel drops down, but I only, so I only saw, if I turn around, how the, how, what? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, I've been here. Okay, yeah, I, I'm turned. I've been turned around. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. It's okay. This is exactly the place. If I take a left. No, it can't be. Damn it. I'm so lost. So I can go straight on or I can, I can take a right. So I need to approach. So I ca if I take a straight on, let's go straight on. Let's, let me mark this on. Okay, okay. So I don't know where I'm going, but I got a double. Yeah. So I'm going to go straight on and see if I can make a make sense of this. You move along the tunnel. Here, the cave system widens. Okay, I I have absolutely no idea where I've been, how to get, how I got here, but here, the cave system widens. Pedunk, ped, ped, pendulous stalactites hang from the ceiling, as if about to fall and skewer you in place. You skirt between them, following a thin, safe path, until a, claw, a crawl space escapes on your left. Okay, so, um, there's a passage here with stalactites, that's okay, and then we have a straight on that I believe is where I need to go, or left. We're totally lost, I'm writing down the paths here, but uh, I can go back, I know how to go back, it's just, I don't know how I got there before. Uh, let's go, let's go straight on and see what happens, because I'm running out of space on my notebook actually for the left, so I... <laughs> I want to go right next time. You edge further down the tunnel. The ground begins to slope upwards and the wall begins to glitter as you encounter a seam of crystal. You have been this way before? Here, a side passage breathes a gentle wind on the right. And I believe if I turn right right now, this is... this goes back to our entrance. You move through the opening in the right hole, then you see a spot of sunlight. Yes, yes, okay, so I know where I am. Perfect. So this loops back around. So I'm gonna go straight on, which is the left turn before. It's a good thing I wrote down, man, man, oof, oof. Uh, it's a good thing I wrote down the map. Um, so a couple of stones are piled before. I just, it's just this thing here I'm gonna need to point it out. I have no idea how I was there before. Maybe the game is confused, or I am confused, or my character is confused, I have no idea. Uh, but let's go right, because we haven't gone right from here. Uh, you go right. You are back in a chamber of stalactites, perhaps in the same as you visited before, then a passageway yawns to your left. So it's the same chamber. Yeah, it makes sense that it would be the same chamber of stalactites that we have been before, because we're going the same direction, except this chamber is probably pretty huge. But we have a place to go left, and this left, I would say, leads back to, uh, leads back to a place that I've uh, been to before. Uh, and we can go straight on. I think straight on is the way to go, but I'm gonna go left, because I believe it is safe. After a few minutes, wa uh, a few minutes walk up a shallow incline, you begin to hear something in the distance—a low rumbling. Uh, okay, this was not safe. <clears throat> okay, okay. Let's turn and run. I am not dealing with that. You turn and run, but not fast enough. Holy crap! Can I pray? I can. Holy crap! What is this? But not fast enough, the rumbling gets louder and louder until you look over your shoulder, you see an enormous boulder 
rolling, running speedily down the tunnel towards you. Okay, so I could use magic, but what magic? What magic could I use? And do I even want to do that? Maybe it's if I can use a magic here, you begin to re ready a spell when Han. Oh, that's right, I can't. When Han turns to uh, tugs at your arm, you can't, you can't. He says, "I told you, you can't do magic when I'm around." Shaking your head with disappointment, you try to think of other options. Actually, if I could spend just one stamina and then pray, that'd be a good thing. Let's pray for the spirit. Uh, it's a dolphin. I don't know what the guy does, but quick and carefree, the dolphin is happy to leap and skim. Oh, that's good. That's good. Okay. You raise a fast and fervent prayer to the dolphin, your spirit, and feel the peace of the wilderness enter you as the boulder slows. Oh, excuse the hiccups there. As the uh, boulder slows and catches, and, inv and invisible brakes make it slow. Not enough to stop it coming, but enough to give you a chance. With a final burst of speed, you race down the hallway and jump left, narrowly avoiding the boulder as it crashes loudly and violently into the wall, mere inches from where you were standing. You pick yourself up and dust yourself down. Only then do you realize that Han has not been so lucky. He was flapping al along behind you and he's no longer by your shoulder. Holy crap. Well, you can't say you're sorry to see the back of him. The glitter of thick crystal seam reaches you again and crack... Holy crap, really? Han is gone? Seriously? So the game didn't allow me... The game didn't allow me to not take him with me, but it allowed me to kill him? Holy crap. Okay, so I'm back at this thing. Uh, so I can turn right. If I can turn right and go straight on, there's only one way. Uh, so this is back where it came from. There's only... Yeah, I know where I am. So I'm going to go right. And uh, this is the way where it can climb out. We're going to go straight on. And we're going to turn right from here. We're going to go back to where the... You take your right-hand tunnel. The way is soon blocked by a large boulder. You head back to up the tunnel. The passage dips once more, and then a crawl space appears on your left. The two bowl so stones are still stacked here. Okay, so, yeah. Yeah, okay, so this is blocked, but I just screwed up. I could have gone straight on. I blocked a passage for me. Well, let's go straight on and turn right on the next one. So the path. yeah. Oh, wait a minute. The jackknives in stamp. Huh. I am so lost. I think this is the same description as it's a deep. Let's go right. I think I'm. I think I'm going. Let's see. You squeeze through the gap into the right wall. You splash through the water, which drips from the ceiling, making your torch hiss and spit. Ahead, the passage you are following finishes at yet another fork. There is a stone here. Okay, so I have no idea what the stones are for. I just have absolutely no idea what the stones are for. Just no idea. No idea whatsoever. So I can go left or I can go right. Let me mark it on a map over here. So these are these are all blacked, blocked. I mean, let's go right here. You go right. The rock in the wall of passage turns from natural stone to something carved and shaped by ancient hands. There is the occasional mark of lettering, now half rubbed away by time, spelling some message of doom. Then, I hope that's not actually what it is. Then the passage ends quite abruptly into a sealed door. Uh... Is it a good sign? I think it might be a good sign, guys. Let's open the door. You push open the door slowly. Holy crap. Uh, then a catch clicks and some ominous rumbling starts. Behind you, a wall is rising from the stone floor to seal off your escape. Okay. Um, let's go into the room. You push forward into the... I think this is the way we need to go. But you push forward into the room undeterred, only to be met with an... up. An appalling sight. There are hundreds of gallons of water gushing towards you, are swept off the ground as the room and corridor fill. You are sure to drown. Please don't. I can't pray to the spirit, he doesn't listen to me. I hope I can cast magic. With the Minimite no longer beside you, the world of magic is closed to your fingertips once more. I hope I can do something here. Okay. Okay, so what do we have? We got. Dop. Open locks and doors. Probably not gonna work. I thank you for your assistance, but let's see. I also had another... Uh, I had a, a, do, a dud here. Illusion of treasure. Why would I want that? Huh? Okay, let's see the F. Fof. Fof field... Force field. Uh, that's for... That might work, actually. I think I'm gonna go for that if nothing else happens. We got... Huff. 
No, that's not right. What's that? What's the other one? Yeah, it is Huff. I just clicked wrong. Creates wind. Nah, I can do that if I just eat a little bit of... I don't know. Anyway. Um, and, and S over here. Sus? Why would I want sus? Since the da I, I see the danger in front of my face. Let's go with a Foff here. A force field. Hopefully it's gonna work. It probably isn't. Sounds good. It sounds good. You cast the enchantment quickly, and a thick force field forms around you, protecting you and your belongings, and most importantly, providing you with air. The water closes above your head, and then several, after several moments, begins to drain away. You are gently deposited back on the ground. The ceiling wall behind you reopens, and the door shuts. You head back to the previous junction, almost as if nothing had happened, and you've been lucky, very lucky indeed. You return to the flooded chamber where a, you, you, you return to the flooded chamber where a side passage splits on the wall on your left. Uh, so I can go straight on and go left. Straight. Oh, man, we just lost stamina for nothing. Let's, no, that's not left. Let's go back. I want to go left now. Yeah, that's... that's yeah, going to the towards, towards the, the other direction. So we go left. Passageway climbs steeply. Then a crack breeds a gentle wind on the left. Ah, <sighs> boy. We're... We're lost, but I think we're on the right path, actually, because the other one, the other path, uh, led us around places, and there's only one place that I didn't, or a couple of places, rather, than I didn't go to, uh, and I think, uh, maybe, maybe it's gonna be good. But anyway, uh, that's gonna be it for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Sorcery, I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode, bye-bye!